What's going on everybody and welcome to the video. In this one, we're just going to be talking about how to value a dividend stock, go through a ton of different valuations that I've created, not necessarily that I've created, but I've put into a spreadsheet that you can use to value dividend stocks in a very simple and timely manner. So if you do enjoy this type of content, all I ask is that you subscribe to the channel and you turn on post notifications so you miss out on any of my future videos. But let's go ahead and just kind of get straight into it. So first up, we'll just kind of go ahead and look at my portfolio. I do need to update my number of shares for each holding as it has changed a little bit. I've been making a few more buys in my portfolio, but we'll see. Not doing the best. My estimated annual dividend income right now is 360 bucks, but total down about 6%, $811. But if you want to get access to this, check out my Patreon and link in the description down below. Uh, you'll get all these different spreadsheets, which we will be going over uh, two of these ones right now. So let's go ahead and kind of talk about how to value a dividend stock. So first up, the stock we're going to be valuing is Coca-Cola. You know, we can pretty simply, you just type in the ticker and all this information will come up. Sometimes it takes a little bit to load, but these aren't necessarily what we're using to value. It's going to be coming through all of these four, the DCF valuation, dividend discount model, Graham's formula valuation, and the multiples modeling. And then we'll get a final value that we expect in the stock. So let's go ahead and start with the DCF valuation. You know, you just go kind of, you have to manually input just these four, five numbers and the kind of growth rates that you expect, such as the future growth rate, the discount rate, and the perpetual growth rate. And then you enter manually uh, these few numbers right here, the enterprise value, the total debt, all that stuff. But let's go ahead. We'll see when we type in Coca-Cola's kind of past free cash flows and get all these different numbers. Just looking in the future, I gave Coca-Cola a discount of 8.5% from what I found online. It's just a pretty average per perpetual growth rate of 2%. With all their enterprise value, their equity value, and all their outstanding shares, the DCF value per share is about $66.81. I'll go ahead and kind of zoom in so you can see this. We'll go ahead and get a upside of about 10% based simply off of the DCF model alone. So that's pretty good looking at this for Coca-Cola. And let's go ahead and go to the dividend discount model. So what we've got right here is you use this formula. It's, you just have to type in these few numbers for their historical dividends. It gives you all the numbers and then you use the same discount rate as before. Then you use a growth rate, uh, kind of what you expect in their dividend growth rate and the average growth rate kind of tells you that. So you just kind of be a little bit conservative. I usually go a little bit lower than this. And looking at the dividend discount model for Coca-Cola, we only get a price per share about $36.93, which is far below its current price of $60.69. So this does, for the dividend discount model, give Coca-Cola a downside of about 39.16%. Now we go to Graham's formula valuation, which is the pretty much overall intrinsic value formula. This is a formula right here. It tells you all the different things you need to know. So pretty much all you have to manually input is the growth rate, which is the company's long-term five years earning growth estimate, which we, I got from Finviz, which is 6.06%. You have to enter this in as a full number, but once you type in this, it'll give you the EPS, all these different things, and it gives you a final intrinsic value for Coca-Cola of only $31 and six cents based off of this formula because the earnings per share is not that high and the growth is not very high, so that does make a lot of sense. Current price is $60, giving it about a 48% difference on that, assuming a margin of safety of 10% would give us a good buy price, about $27.95. So based off of this, it is going to be rated a sell in the current term, but this is just off of the intrinsic value formula valuation, which is very easy to use. And then we'll go lastly to the multiples modeling. So it is taking a second to load. I'm gonna pause this real quick so you get all the information. Okay, so I got it to load. Very simple to use. You just type in the tickers of a few companies that are very similar. You know, I just went to CNN and got these three peers and competitors for Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Monster, and Keurig Dr. Pepper. So very simply, you just type in the tickers and it'll all load up. Like I'll kind of just show you. Um, I'm just gonna show you kind of an example. I'll type in Apple. All these numbers will automatically change but we're looking at Coca-Cola again. So KO, it gives you all these numbers. It uses this formula. You know, get the average PE from the competitors, the median from the competitors, and you kind of take the earnings per share multiplied by the average PE valuation and the median PE, and this gives Coca-Cola a valuation of $77.74, leading to a $60.69, or from the $60.69, gives it 28.09% upside just based off of this valuation alone. But when we conclude all four of these valuations together, we gotta find our final intrinsic value for the stock. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So what we get right here for Coca-Cola, the DCF price was $66.81. 
The dividend discount price was $36.93, grams price was $27.95, and the multiples model price was $77.74. The final stock intrinsic value estimate from these valuations is $52.35. So with the current stock price of 60.69, this does give it a downside right now of 13.73%. And if you want to get a margin of safety, if this were to be a good buy, uh, you can get a margin of safety, get a good buy price. So with the 10% from its final stock value, that would mean Coca-Cola would be a good pri buy price, anything below $47.12. But with this current downside of 13.73%, this is indicating that the stock is a sell. So that is just a very simple way to value stocks in a spreadsheet I created. Remember, if you want access to this, use the link in the description down below. You'll get way more. I'll even show you the Warren Buffett valuation. You know, he kind of breaks it down, and there's really no way of telling how Warren Buffett exactly breaks down his stocks. But from what I found, I went with his three kind of ratings that he uses on a lot of his stocks. First up, he finds the earnings yield, which is just going to be the earnings per share divided by the price, which is 3.6%. Or it's the price divided by the earnings per share. Sorry, I got that mixed up. It is the earnings per share divided by the price, and that is 3.6%. And then that's just kind of a valuation of how you look at it. It said that anything, there's also a doc that kind of explains this all if you are interested in it that you will get in the Patreon. But anything around kind of a corporate bond or a government bond, average yield is said to be good. And right now it's about 4.36%. So it's near that range, a little bit lower. But historical earnings growth, we take all these different formulas. It, it, there's a huge explanation uh, if you get into the Patreon of how we get these prices with all the formulas. And only thing you have to manually type in on this is the dividend growth rate, which I got from Seeking Alpha of 3.4% over the past five years. And it gives you all the estimated dividends. It kind of calculate, calculates those into the expected price in 10 years. So with the historical earnings growth rating, it is said that Coca-Cola in 10 years will be from $60.66 to $250.86. Now this is a complete estimate. There is no telling. Remember, there's nobody with a crystal ball that can just tell you everything and on the sustainable growth model it gives a 161 dollar and 23 cent 10 year price target so the average price between these two is 206 dollars and five cents in 10 in 10 years remember this is a very long-term outlook this valuation is kind of just to tell you what the current value is and the warren buffett is very long term to see where it should be and we are seeing 239 percent upside potential in 10 years from coca-cola based off of these valuations but remember if you are interested in this check out the patreon and the link in the description down below there's explanations further explanations on how to use all these you'll get access to a ton of different valuations such as the warren buffett valuation uh the everything portfolio tracker the stock valuation spread the sheet that we just used the magic formula and the list goes on and on and on and i am going to be adding what i just created today a dividend stock watch list very very easy to use you just type in the ticker um let's go ahead and say you know, I know a lot of people like Coca-Cola, a lot of people like, let's just kind of, I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say you really like AT&T stock, okay? So just type in the ticker, all this information will come up, and once it shows up right here, has a target price from, uh, this is from Yahoo Finance of $21.13 from its 1863. So this is based just off of an analyst price target average from Yahoo Finance. And then you wanna give it a margin of safety. Let's say you kinda wanna be a little bit safer, Maybe you want twelve percent. So right now, off of the twelve percent margin of safety, it trades for four cents higher. So it's saying a sell. But if you don't want to be that safe, maybe you want a seven percent margin of safety. Then it's under its good buy price, which would be a buy. So considering that, it's a very good watch list just to kind of track some stocks that maybe you're thinking about buying and things like that. And then the valuation formula, very easy to use, gets you good valuation on your current por portfolio, which is just a really great way to kind of manage your stocks and make sure. Nothing in your portfolio seems to be too overvalued because it is giving you perspective from four different valuations, technically speaking, from just the sheet alone. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Thank you again for making it to the end. Check out the links in the description down below for some free money on M1 Finance. Check out my Patreon. You'll get access to these spreadsheets. And I will see you in the next video.